And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lux Ezreal. So this is a donation deck for, for me to build. So this is one that I put together of build a deck based around Lux and Ezreal. It's not the easiest thing to do because we want to we want to play a lot of things that target our enemies, right? Because we want to be able to level up Ezreal. Um, but then, we, you know, we're also playing Demacia. Demacia doesn't necessarily have that many things to... to uh, play to target the enemies, but we also want to play a whole bunch of spells and that's good So, you know, like spell mana is usually how you target enemies So we can just have a lot of things that target enemies and and have our spell mana also I'm pretty happy how this this has turned out from just looking at it um, You know with the Masi we'll have single combat They'll be able to target an enemy and also purify we got, we got just the one purify in there. We got the single combat um you know, that's what we're basically using. I decided not to play Concerted Strike. Uh, but, you know, then we have our gotchas, our Static Shocks, um, stuff like that. I feel like this is going to be a control deck where we want to stay alive. Like, we, we need to be able to stay alive against aggro. And so I feel like Radiant Guardian is going to be pretty important in that respect. And that's really the combo with Radiant Guardian with the single combat also. Um, oh, Nakano says, I already played this deck a little bit and did well against Anivia. Nice. Good to know. Um... And uh, and so, like, if we're going to play Radiant Guardian, we have to be able to turn on the Radiant Guardian. That's the tough part is, you know, we need to have something die so we can have the life steal and tough turned on. And that's why I'm going to go with the Blinding Assaults. We're going three Blinding Assaults um, to be able to turn on. Uh, you know, we can, we can have, like, turn five, we can use two spell mana, play this, challenge something, Valor dies, get another attack step, play Radiant Guardian um, that's, that's turned on with another attack step. That's the thinking there. Plus, it's it's more spell mana for Lux. So you may notice that, like we have a lot of two mana spells and a lot of four mana spells. You know, Blinding Assault, Mystic Shot, Single Combat, Purify. That we have ten at two mana, and then four mana we have Gotcha, Static Shock. So, so we can kind of so like two plus four of course equals our six. So like, that's how we can we can use that combination uh, for six mana um, pretty well. So you know, lots of twos, lots of fours. Um, that works out well. And then, you know, we have our Remembrance, we have our Progress Day that, that's good at, you know, helping us stock up. And then Progress Day is burst is a burst way to level up Lux. Um, so, yeah, I think think we got it, things pretty good. Chump Wump uh, can be like a four mana card that can die, like, you know, that we play on turn four that dies on turn five for our Radiant Guardian. Plus, it gets us two Mushroom Clouds, which when you do have a leveled up Ezreal, you do need a lot of extra spells. So that's what the Mushroom Clouds can help out there. And I got one Rummage. Also, that we can use to discard mushroom clouds and to draw into other things. So let's give this a try. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it does well. This says I have faith in the deck. Nikano says it's a really fun deck. Awesome. Hey, what's up, Nutter? It's Wacky Wednesday. All right. So yeah, let's let's have some fun. Ooh, playing against Karina Control. Um. Unyielding Spirit seems like it'd be awesome against Karina if we can get it to resolve. That'd be the hard part, is getting it to resolve. We could just mulligan all these cards, because they're expensive, but I don't know. I kind of want to keep this Unyielding Spirit. Yeah, maybe we'll just mulligan them all. We'll keep, we'll keep the beam. And we'll just mulligan eight mana cards. It's probably just smart to mulligan eight mana cards. Don't necessarily need those in your opener. There's nothing to fear. All right, so if I cast Gotcha on Elise, then next turn we have four mana, spell mana. So we're not playing Remembrance. Um, is it that important to play Remembrance next turn? Maybe not. We're not like a Mage Seeker deck that I need to play like a six mana card right away. Let's do this. Because maybe it's better to have, like, something die before we play Remembrance anyway. So that we have the chance of getting the Radiant Guardian turned on. Crew. 
This Purify is really nice with uh, against Ledros, right? Like that's awesome against Ledros. They're attacking, right? Okay, not bad. Mm. That's annoying. So they got the card advantage. They have seven cards. We also have seven, but two of ours are uh, mushroom clowns. Um, possibly, I, should I play Ezreal? We have the other Ezreal also. No. I am doing fine, Biz. Thank you. Yeah, doing good today. Yeah, definitely sitting on Vengeance. Four out of eight. We had to we had to get rid of a card from hand. We have to just lock the or put the dogs like in the living room and close the door or something. They are just bothering me today. the worst one to hit.
right, this could be... Could be six for Ezreal if this works out. Of course I fought with that, not the 5-4, because at the top, so I wouldn't take the damage. That egg, did it move? Just kind of giving more things to target. I got ways to find me You need to level up Ezreal. You will be scoured from this land. I probably shouldn't even be attacking. They love just the like draw pass immediately. They love that. Big fan of the draw pass immediately. Strike for justice. Banish the unworthy. Playing cards is for suckers, huh? Thank you for gifting out some subs. I appreciate that. Thank you, Biz. Um Yeah, we don't we don't level up the Lux. We could we could play two mushroom clouds and level up the Lux. And that is that is kind of cool. Um so yeah, we had all the bishops. Pink shirt, Vagata, and Havada Ked. We'll just go Havada. All of y'all, welcome to the channel. I love it. Stormy Van, Shreve, Potato, Ebon Wave. Everybody's getting their hype votes in. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. All right, so that's our th three subs on the day. So Lux and Ezreal kind of go together also. We're leveled up. Um. Leveled up Lux um, does create, you know, the final sparks. Final sparks targeting the opponent. So that's kind of cool too. Draw some puff caps. Strike for justice. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's a 
lot of damage. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. The world's a big place. Let's <laughs> All right, why not? I knew we had it all along. All right, we defeated Karina Control, which I definitely feel good about that. After we went winless with Karina Control yesterday, I was going to feel really bad if we lost to it. <laughs> yeah, Vanyip is a little loud, but yeah, his laugh is really charming, isn't it? Vanyip's cool. Brom Zed. Well, let's get rid of these two. The single combat, normally pretty decent, but like you know, we just don't have a unit to fight, so we'll we'll just put that back. Definitely like having Mystic Shot and Gotcha. Yeah, they didn't draw any finishers, and which is surprising. You know, never saw Karina or Aledro, so we don't know. You know, they, they still had those cards in hand. We don't know if they were holding on to one for some reason, or another, or want. Get it. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. One of these times, Vanya will get it. One of these days. Ooh, Kordak. Using the change the pet. Alright, we're going to be going to T-Hex after this. Y'all help remind me. We're going to be switching over to T-Hex. better than Elixir of Iron, right? Because I guess, basically like Elixir of Iron, we gotta spend the mana again to replay it. <laughs> well, ho hopefully you enjoy your time here, uh, Lurk. Hope you enjoy your time here. Maybe I should have just played Remember All. Okay, cool, that works. Start the day. I'm being nice and patient. Hmm, growing that thing, huh? Um. Let's play this. Ow. I think being a 5-4... Gonna be a problem. And Yielding Spear, not so great against Ionia. You know, they can have... On, William of Ionia. Fairly easily. Let's play... Past the turn. Eyes open. Watch your branches. That's not great. Do one and one to these. I was, you know, hoping like they would attack with Jewel Protector. I'd block with Chump Womp. Then we play Radiant Guardian. We'll just do one and one with these damages. Try to set up a Gotcha uh, to take down Green Glade Duo. That's fine. Just two damage. Ooh, that could be good. 
I could set up Radiant Guardian pretty well. Let's see. Let's start with... Start with... Well, let's, uh, well, let's see. I have 9 mana, so if I go gotcha, and then they play something, then I have to single combat, then we don't also get to Radiant Guardian. We can't do everything. If I attack. Yeah, I'm not too mad at yeah them using the Elixir of Iron on that one drop that loses Elusive. That's... Yeah, you know, I don't know their hand. I can't, I don't want to just say, like, that that was a, a misplay by them, right? Like, I don't, I don't know what they got, what they're working with over there. But I was not mad at it. The dark beckons. Justice will be served! Hmm. All right, pass the turn. Don't waste that mana. Good draw. So 11, so two, four, eight, nine, 10, 11. Cool, so I can have gotcha, gotcha, single combat, prismatic barrier. We can have it all. And we're gonna need it all. Yep. We are going to need it all. Do I wait at all? I'll use this gotcha right here, right now. I'm not expecting Fury of the North with them playing Kinku Wayfinder. Oh gosh, never mind. So now. Uh, we'll be fine. They're tapped out, which is good news. So we can see how they attack first. I assume they're only attacking with the elusives and not with the, the things that we can block with Radiant Guardian, but. Gotta make sure. Okay, never mind. Alright, with them. Nope. If they attack with those, I'm going to single combat and have these fights. If they don't attack with those, then I'll have single combat and have these fight. If I do that, then we also have to kill one of these. I have, eight, I have nine mana? Wait, I can't... Can I not kill either? Can I not kill one then? Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to... Hmm. I guess I can't kill the 4-4. Four -four. So yeah, we could go. I guess we're gonna have to do this. Kill. I'd rather kill this thing. This does more damage. Kill that thing. Yeah, I know it's a temporary buff. I know it's just it's it's rough going down to two because then if I if I kill it the other way, then I go down to two, and then the Shadow Assassin um, can't be lethal on its own. Um, so 
that's the difficult part. You will be scoured from this land. Banish the unworthy. Really hope they don't have Will of Ionia to bounce. Really hope we get to gain the five life. Not cool. <clears throat> Never mind, forget I said cool. Elixir of Irons doesn't save Greenglade Duo. Alright. Hoping they don't have another six power worth of elusives. Or if they do, they're things that die to static shock, like like a regular Greenglade Duo. tell you. Shenanigans. Fury of the North really, really set us back. Right, like that that card hurt for sure. And yeah, that's true that having another Windfair Hatchling is the only really like the only way that playing the Hatchling on defense after damage made any sense. All right, one on one. We can block these things a little better, just a little better. No one's the wiser. Um. call whether or not to use that. I can have Static Shock take out both of those. Explosives Prime. Taking a lot of damage. Damn it. Kind of the Noxus way, though. You can take out their stuff, but you take a lot of damage for it.
are good. Not sure if anybody's figured that out or not yet, but they are good. We're leveling up our Ezreal quickly. This is why you can't play removal. This is why just the last like couple of days we've been playing control decks and every control deck just looks pretty bad because what kind of what kind of control deck could possibly win that game? Like how how could how could we have possibly done better with removal? <laughs> but what more could we have wanted? Than what we didn't have, like the, the one we had. Um, try this. Yeah, Noxus aggro is just too. It's too powerful. I mean, Noxus just in general is too powerful. But we're playing against non. Noxus this game, so we have a chance. There's there's nothing that's actually favored against that Noxus deck. People can say that they think they have a good matchup against it, but stats don't really lie. Nothing's nothing's favored against that deck. I'm just gonna save the spell mana. I wish that counted as targeting, <laughs> right? That'd be nice. That helped level up that zero. That'd be nice. Making the dead deader. Fight on. All right, keep this. War chef's only doing. Two damage. That's the plan. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. It's not bragging if you could back it up. No. No way. I wanted to make a free mystic shot. Take down that Senna. Friend. 
If they have a single combat, they have a single combat. You know, it's just nothing I can really do about that. I just hope not. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Unyielding Spirit. Now we're talking. Okay. So I figured they would have... Oh, no, because then that, that thing couldn't fight... That one, that's not what they would use single combat on. They'd use it on the 5-1. Maybe I should challenge the 5-1. I didn't challenge the 5-1 because of the static shock, of course. How to do this around single combat? I mean, I guess I just can't, right? Like, no matter what I do, they can single combat and kill my Lux. No matter what I do. I wish that wasn't the case. I mean, I can't just level her. They can still single combat in response. It's the problem. I think this is probably my best. You know, if this was burst speed, we would go with this. Oh, yay! No single combat. I going to say that that's still my best play because even if they do single combat, we would we still get to afterwards play Thermogenic Beam, kill the Misfortune. have that card. Ugh, Genevieve I'm hard so good. Um to us. Okay, let's see. Excuse you. Still me taking six. Kind of expected a combat trick, but maybe I shouldn't have. Expecting a combat trick. Looks like I should not have. Alright, Evan Wave. Take care. Have a good one. Have a good day. Hey, Resin. Greetings. Oh my 
gosh, going wide. Yep, I, I messed this. I, I played around a combat trick by not casting stuff beforehand, and I really should not have. Getting very punished for doing that. I need that. I need that extra life now. Um. No, not looking good. And I, I probably, I had the tools to win this. I should just call like Bear. I had the tools to win this game. The enemy. Or at least, yeah. I mean, yeah. I would just single combated before damage. Eat up, frustrating game. Losing is just an opportunity to shine even brighter. Control deck's just not. It's just I don't know. I. It's like too patient or something. But we've played like five control decks in the last two days and I am like I'm at like a 30% win rate with them now. Oh my god. Core deck next next game with the Vi loses, I'll do the two T Hex. I completely forgot about T Hex. Completely forgot about it. Uh we'll do it for the the five games for the the Vi loses. We'll use T Hex. I'm sorry. Ezreal Karma Vi. I'm glad we're playing against Control. Not Noxus. Or these aggro decks. Like, I just shouldn't have... I just shouldn't not have played around anything, you know? Like, that's... Simple as that. I should not have played around anything. I'd need to. Oh. I need to just try to protect my life total as much as I could. My plan is they attack, I block, I play Radiant Guardian. That's my plan. They may just pass here and I waste. They should have passed. Honestly, they should have passed. Because I would have I would have wasted all my mana and I had ten cards in hand. And so I wouldn't have been able to draw my last card. Which I guess... I'm not drawing this next card. Uh, that's kind of rough. Uh, the Chump Wump too. Chump Wump's so good. Hey, Dewan, I'm doing good. I wish I was winning more. I feel bad doing these donation decks and I'm not not winning with them the last two days, so I feel really bad about that. I really wish I was doing better with these viewers submitted decks, but I'm just not. But besides that, we're doing good. Stay back. Oh, 
I got the goods? Hempunk pickpocket. You will be scoured from this land. Like, I wonder if I should just give them. What if I should just give him like all these mushroom clouds right now? Like I don't really see me leveling up Ezreal. I don't know. And I kind of I need to like get rid of cards in hand for my progress day. Don't be calling no enforcers. Nine cards as well. It's a good one to hit. I'm at nine, they're at ten. They have to play something first. I don't have like any removal. Like they're they're probably like worried about like their karma dying. I have no removal. For a karma. I got ways to find in mushroom. Let's give him 10 cards again. There we go. That thing can kill a karma. Three out of eight. Um, I I haven't tried. Or I I think. Oh yeah, you're talking. Talking about. Uh, you're talking in chat. Something else. They're at 10 cards. If they pass back, they just waste a card. You know, they, they just waste this top card of their deck. What do I want to play? Peace begins within. Oh, like, are you talking about, like... So Where there is life, So you have a donation deck, and you're, and you're asking me which one I would... I would rather would I rather play a climbing deck or a fun deck for a donation deck? Strike for justice. Um, I think I would probably say the fun deck. I'm, un I'm unloading these two reasons it you know uses mana that I'm wasting anyway it can try to help up the game of them like they they draw cards they take damage 
over time, and it frees up my hand so I can actually cast Progress Day. Oh, I couldn't cast Progress Day before. See? They draw two cards. Try to get them some of this Puff Cap damage. quickly. Well, the single combat is good. Can try to take down this karma. Sure hope this works. If it doesn't, we probably lose. One mana gotcha is kind of cool. If they no, yeah, cause, no, Ezreal's leveled up. Darn it, it's four health. Um, Okay, Teemo Shen deck. I do have a, I do already have a Teemo Wayfinder meme deck that I'm playing on Sunday. I said any day but Saturday, so then probably Friday. Draw those puff caps. Let's go. Draw them puff caps. Draw them puff caps. I need to get this Ezreal leveled up. Alright, Cabo, yeah, have, have a good lunch. Emotion, not Saturday. Time for a true display of skill. I played this first scene if they would like use removal on it. Maybe maybe we should just maybe we should have just attacked with it first. See they use removal, tap out, and then and then I play my Ezreal. Actually yeah, I should have just attacked with this first.
They could definitely have the one mana gain three. I really don't want them to. That's that's probably the card that I want them to have the least. I, I'm trying to punk them out with damage with them. Uh, you know, having the 12 puff cap, 17 cards. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Um... Wait, wouldn't it just make more sense just to kill the Karma? Alright, cool. This levels up Ezreal. So that works quite well. And now we have Progress Day that's burst, and then we have Zero Mana Rummage that's burst. Um, so this looks good. Draw some puff caps. Oh, they just drew one. Uh, need to draw one more. We'll bring peace to Iona, whatever the cost. Don't have burst. Don't have a burst spell to kill him. So I just hope. Like, I don't have the one extra mana for this Prismatic Barrier. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things um, up a little? I mean, I can't, I can't cast Barrier. Yeah, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. The thing is, I wanted to try to kill them before they could go Health Potion, right? But now they can have Health Potion and gain six life again. And Health Potion's the problem. There we go, GG's. Leave it to the puff caps. And Ezreal is victorious. <sighs> Leave it to the puff caps. People underrate just giving the opponent puff caps. We dealt so much damage with just giving them puff caps. Like how like we probably dealt like seven damage with puff caps that game. That's a that's a really underrated part about Chump Wump. Just Take puff caps. Chump Wump did a lot of work that game, and I even I even burned a Chump Wump early because my hand was too full, and so I had three three Chump Wumps and I only got three Mushroom Clouds out of the three Chump Wumps because one Mushroom Cloud got burned and then my other Chump Wump got burned. Um, but still, those three puff caps. Well, then how we must have gotten four because they had like twenty puff caps. So yeah, we must have done four. Okay, that was before the progress day. Gotcha. Might be. Um, so yeah, there's there's uh, Lux Ezreal. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like to. I think I think our list is good. I think it's a it's a difficult deck to play, certainly, and um, but I th I think this deck's good. I think I think like the list. As far as like making an Ezreal Lux deck, I, I like the list. There's not there's nothing about the list I didn't like. I do really like Gotcha. I like it more than Get Excited. Um, and yeah, so I I liked everything about the list. Um, I even I even like the Blinding Assaults, even though I didn't do a whole lot with them. I just think that they're that it's the best. 
um, option. It's a better option than anything else. You know, I like it more than um, Get Excited or Trail of Evidence or Flash of Brilliance. Um, yeah, I was happy with them. So yeah, if you want to play a Lux Ezreal deck, I recommend giving this list a chance. I think this could be the list for you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching some Lux Ezreal, and I'll see you for the next video.